Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to put together a quick tutorial on how to get expansion running on your server, specifically how to adapt the mission template provided by the expansion team to work with your map. So, uh, today uh, we're going to be focusing on Chinaris and getting that adapted over to expansion using the template. So after you've got all of your mods downloaded uh, and set up for your server, uh, you're going to want to go over to this GitHub link. Uh, I'll, I'll paste that down in the description. And uh, you'll go to code and download zip. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But uh, once you get it downloaded, uh, you should have a folder that contains this. Um, so if you click on template, you can see all the maps that uh, have specific information in them, you know, vehicle spawns and stuff like that. Uh, so Chinaris is the one that we're going to end up using. But first, let's, uh, let's take a look at this tutorial. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are three steps needed to get expansion items to spawn on your map. And then there are an additional two steps if you're using the expansion market, which I highly recommend. It is the most powerful and customizable trader mod for DayZ to date. Uh, it blows Dr. Jones and uh, Trader Plus out of the water as far as functionality goes. Um, but setting all of that up is the uh, subject of another video. Um, but I will show you how to activate everything in this one so uh, I'm gonna be working with just a local server today just to show you how it all works um, if you're using a game service provider like Nitrato or GTX or any of those uh, your panel will look a little bit different but uh, everything should be still relatively the same so first thing we'll do is we'll go into our empty missions folder and what I like to do is I like to make a copy of the default mission that I'm going to be working with and then renaming that copy instead of daisyoffline.trinaris plus you can see I've named this one expansion.trinaris plus uh, reason I do this is uh, if the vanilla game receives an update uh, this vanilla mission gets updated um, it has a chance of overwriting uh, some of your work so if you create expansion.trinaris plus this won't get overwritten you may still need to make some changes from updates uh, to make sure everything is current but uh, you won't lose anything that you've already done um, so let's go into this expansion.trinaris plus that i've already set up and let's go back to look at the tutorial add the folder expansion underscore ce inside your mission so we go to our template trinaris plus expansion CE and we copy that folder so back to here and you can see I've already done this for here but uh, we can go ahead and remove that and just do it again so there you go step one complete easy right step two Inside the file CFG Economy Core XML copy from CE folder expansion CE to including CE backslash and paste this line inside your own CFG Economy Core XML of your mission. That's a little bit confusing, but what it's telling you to do is to go back to your template and open up this CFG Economy Core and this little block of code, you want to copy that. Go back to your mission, open up your CFG economy core for your mission, and underneath this line here, defaults with the slash, you want to paste that block of code. What this is going to do is this is going to take the uh, files that are within that expansion CE folder and that's going to tell the server to look at the files in there and add them to the appropriate files like uh, expansion types xml will just kind of get automatically appended to the default types file 
in the DB, same with spawnable types and events. Um, this is a really clean way to manage your modded content. Um, makes it really easy if you ever decide to stop using a mod, you can go back through and just remove this. If you weren't going to use expansion anymore, just delete it. Now you don't have to worry about the game trying to spawn items that no longer exist and potentially causing problems for your server. But since we do want to use expansion, I'll put that back and we'll save it. Now we can close those and we don't have to worry about them anymore. Now, step three to get the expansion vehicles to spawn. Inside the file CFG event spawns XML, copy the spawn points and paste the signs inside your own CFG event spawn XML of your mission. Uh, same thing here. Go to your template and go to CFG event spawns. Pop that open. And I would recommend like these are just comments letting you know uh, what the following code is referencing. Uh, I recommend adding those or keeping those comments. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to find everything whenever you've been adding to the vanilla stuff. Again, if you ever deleted this. Uh, mod from your server you'd be able to go back to where these comments start and you know what to select and what to get rid of for getting rid of expansion so once you've got all that copied you have to go to your own cfg event spawns xml inside your actual mission do, do, do. And as you can see, I've already done this, uh, but you can paste this either at the top of the file or at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Um, just know that uh, if you're going to stick it down at the bottom, make sure that you are within this last line like you you don't want to paste it below that line otherwise it's not going to work you would need to paste it here if you wanted it at the bottom but it's personal preference uh, I like to keep it at the top it makes life easier for me but you go ahead and save that once you've got it pasted in and you can close those two files again and that's it for adding the expansion items and vehicles to your mission file. Um, if you aren't using the market, you're done. Expansion is configured for your server. Um, however, I'm going to go over adding to the market as well, just because uh, I think this is one of the more confusing items that uh, is included in getting everything set up. I see a lot of people having trouble with this. So I'll just go over it real quick. Um, so how to make your mission Daisy expansion market compatible. Step one, copy the lines from the init C into your mission after void main and these characters. Uh, what this doesn't show you is that uh, if you go back in to our template download and the Trinaris folder, there is no init C. Uh, there's no init C in any of these folders anywhere. Uh, that's because the init C stuff is not map specific. So you go back to the main template folder and here is the file that has the code you need to copy. So once you've got this open, you see void main and these characters. You don't want to add these characters. You don't want to copy and paste those. You just want to go from here down to here. copy that and now you go into your init C for your server and see these same characters that start the file 
uh, go right after this curly brace, hit enter, and copy that. Now, if you renamed your mission the way that I did uh, to expansion.chernaris plus, you do have to do one additional step that is not listed in the tutorial, and that is right here, where it is saying expansion object spawn tools find mission files uh, you have to change this from daisy offline dot to expansion dot otherwise it won't be able to reference the mission file that you've been editing it'll try to uh, access the vanilla mission file and it won't work and your server will crash and you'll be pulling your hair out trying to figure out why uh, this is an important step if you rename it, uh, your, rename your mission. Uh, if you don't rename your mission, you can just leave it. Um, but like I said, I like to rename it just so I leave the vanilla stuff untouched in case I ever have to go back to it. Um, but yeah, that should do it for that. So we save there, close those. And now, finally, inside your mission, add the folder Expansion. If this folder doesn't exist for the template of the desired map, create a folder named Expansion, and inside this new folder, create two folders, Objects, and Traders. So, we go back to our template, go back to Chinaris, go to Expansion, and you can see you've got Objects and Traders. So, you're good to go there. Uh, go ahead and copy that folder, and we go back to our server and you can see I've already copied over this expansion folder objects traders exist in there so that's it that is how you adapt a mission over from vanilla to expansion um, we're gonna go ahead and test it and make sure that everything works and that should be it for this video Okay, uh, as you can see, I've successfully loaded in. Uh, the traders exist. All of the custom objects around the traders exist. You can interact with them. They have categories of things to sell. Uh, you'll notice that it says out of stock. Uh, that's something that we will cover in a future video. But if you want to make sure that all of the expansion vehicles are spawning, uh, use Community Online Tools and go to the Vehicle Management. And you can see it's listing every single vehicle that is on the map. Uh, here's a little bird. Uh, you can select it and teleport to that. And there it is. So helicopters are spawning. The boats are spawning. Everything appears to be showing up. Here's a Vodnik, there's a bus, there's some UAZs, a tractor. So everything worked. Uh, we have successfully installed the expansion template and converted it for our mission file. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, there will be a link in the description to the Expansion Discord and the Expansion Wiki. Uh, both of those are excellent, excellent resources. And uh, you can pretty much learn everything you need to know about this mod through those. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you on the next one.